During the bilateral meeting, the president of European Commission, Juncker, praised President Biu for his impressive leadership and the admirable commitment to human capital development, reform gender, physical discipline, and efficient economic management. A further applaud President Biu as one of the leading champions in Africa in the fight against corruption and democratic accountability. The medium term national development plan recognizes, and I quote, that the cornerstone, cornerstone for ensuring inclusivity in the government system at all levels is empowering local governments and implementing a decentralized approach to efficient service delivery. This is important. Decentralization, decentralization matters in Sierra Leone as anywhere else. Your government has launched in October a comprehensive review of the national decentralization policy and legal framework. And we are proud that we have been able to partner with your services, the Ministry in charge of local governance, the Parliamentary Committee in charge of local governance, to ensure a sound and widely consultative process. It is our hope this review process will enable to address the most critical constraints and support effective and sustainable of state functions the President Julius Malabio highlighted various ways through which the four lucky districts will benefit from the 23 million euro grant. Kenema District will benefit will benefit from the following funeral home, ultra model hall, bridges and culvert. Makini will benefit from the grant on the following 75 bed student hostel for the Yoni campus, Katul Park, water point facilities. Pujon District will benefit on the following construction of market at Bonda P, Banda Juma and N Fonima, two guest house in Pujon, Solar Kwesi for women. Cambia will also benefit from the European grant on the following improved water facilities, guest house at Baramuya and construction of market. His Excellency President Julius Marabio extended his gratitude to the European Commission President for their unflinching support to his New Direction administration, whilst at the same time reiterated his commitment to strengthening the bilateral relations with the European Commission. The new secret for our resilience and success as a nation is that we plan diligently and insist on doing things the right way very well. This informs why our development partners believe in where we are going as a nation and in what we are doing for our country. In my government's new direction manifesto, we committed to accelerating decentralization, strengthening local governance by enhancing capacity building and broadening participation, expanding revenue streams and supporting local governments to sustainably deliver and account for local development and services. When we develop the medium-term national development plan, we maintain that on we maintain that unwavering commitment to expand decentralization, strengthen local governance, and deliver on rural development. So, this five-year European Union and Government of Radio program aligns both with our manifesto commitment and our national development priorities. The Minister has already highlighted my government's four achievements over the last two years. From over 10 years of the weekly funding, my government has provided more funds and increased salaries and compensation for local government officials. At the same time, we are working on restructuring and expanding the resource base and institutional capacity of local councils so that they can deliver and account for services in a sustainable way. We have been planning and initiating local development actions that are gender sensitive. All those actions demonstrate that we are not only serious about decentralization, we 
are also serious about ensuring accountable service and development delivery at the local levels. For Star News in Freetown, I am George Elliott Sam reporting.